Hey what's up guys, it's Apollo Chia here, back with a new short movie. The name of this short movie is What if Naruto had darkness manipulation? Now before continuing this, I would like to tell you guys that it is an unscripted movie as well and shout out to Yakumo for suggesting me this idea and other than that I would like to thank you guys so much for showing love and support to my other channel as well. If you don't know it's Apollo Horror Stories in which I will be uploading horror content which happened to some of my relatives and you know generally in real life related to black magic stuff and this and that so if you're interested in that content please visit that channel as well and a side note i will not be teaching black magic or something like that <laughs> if you're wondering about that story is related to that what will happen if you you know mess with it or something like that other than that if you haven't then please do leave a like and subscribe to both of my channels yes now i'm going to say from now on that <laughs> And yeah, just enjoy the story in general. Story begins in Konoha Gakure no Sato, one day after the QB attack, as we go towards the council chambers, in which Ruzen Sarutobi, the previous Hokage, now re, re newly instated Hokage of the said village, was entering with a basket. In the said basket was a kid with blonde hair and tan skin with three whisker marks on each cheek. It was an infant baby named Naruto Uzumaki who has become orphaned just yesterday because he lost both of his parents in the sad attack that happened. As Ruzen entered the council chambers, he sat down on his chair and put the basket in which Naruto was resting on the table next to him. As one by one the council members started to fill in, the clan heads knew who the baby was so they remained quiet. But the civilian council were not revealed the identity of the said child, and the elders somewhat also knew as well. And they were also quiet. As one of the civilians rose up, without even doing anything or Hiruzen saying the meeting is in session, I would like to address something, Hokage-sama. What is that thing doing here? It is an abomination, and I refuse to sit in the same room as him. Good, then you can leave, said Hiruzen. What? Me, a respectable civilian counselor? should leave instead of this this thing what do you want leave or sit down either you have two choices i have given you both options now what do you want i will oblige for now as then one of the fat civilian counselor began the meeting so since the meeting is in session i would like to address that what should we do with this thing it is an abomination and we cannot let it roam truly our village and we will not certainly well tolerate its presence here. We should end it, as I have said yesterday. As many of the eyes narrowed and were glaring daggers at him. What? What are you going to do? You people are nothing without us. We are the one who pays your clan and all that. Are you forgetting something? We did not exist. You would have been a slave to other villages. We are the military. Power that protects you all while you sit here and rest your ass and barking orders. We are not going to take your orders. Got it? Get it through your thick skull. You're nothing. Nothing more than insignificance that is not needed here. You and the whole civilian council. As everyone nodded. As the civilians glared at them. As suddenly, one of the fair civilian members said, with a smirk, then Hokage-sama, are you not going to agree with us and our demands? What demand? Either kill him or let us handle the Hokage seat. What? How are you going to deal with other Kages who are much more stronger than you and you look like ant in front of them? That will be tolerated and dealt with accordingly. Now, hand over the child and you can resume with your position. Do you not know who you are talking to? Watch your tone. Said Danzo. Why, Danzo? Do you think we are your tools that you can use in disregard? Hmm, <laughs> think again then. As he snapped his finger. Now, as an onward dropped down. What? As everyone's eyes widened. As he had a kunai with some laced liquid on it that was about to stab the child. But suddenly, a huge darkness dome appeared above Naruto and solidified, breaking the said kunai in million bits. As suddenly the dome then spread into a spear, piercing through the Anbu, sending him back flying to the ceiling as his blood dripped down. See, the child is a demon. That is not the Kyubi's chakra, said Yashi. What? Your Bakugan has gone snarl. You want a war? Hmm? 
You want a civil war between our clans and your pathetic civilian council? How many shinobis can you hire? At the end of the day, they had to go back to some clan. They will follow us. You, on the other hand, will perish. And we, as Yugas, declare war upon all of your civilian council members. We, as the Uchihas, as well. And Izukas, as well. As one by one, each and every clan rose. And I, as the Hokage, approve of this. You have no authority. We, as the elders, approve of this as well. You have crossed the line. Very much, said Danzo, as Koharu and Hamura did agree. As Anubus arrived, arrest them and put them in a holding cell. Their punishment will be announced later on. I strip them of all of their powers as well. What? You cannot do this. Daimyo-sama. The Daimyo has other murders to deal with. He will not interfere with what I do. This village is run by dictatorship, not by democracy. Now leave. As everyone was taken out. With some protest. As the clan has then asked the Hokage-sama. Hokage-sama. What was that thing that Naruto used? Hmm, I am truly interested with that theory here within, said Danzo. I do not know, but Minato said something about Shinigami and gift to Naruto. What? As then, a Kyuubi's head formed in front of them all. Hello, everyone. Kyuubi, what are you doing here? They begin to doubt that even if it was Naruto or Kyuubi, don't worry, the kid is safe. Why should we trust you? Hmm. One reason. Because I have decided to finally find a mate. And this kid is the perfect one for me. Kyuubi said as it started to turn into a girl as his deep voice turned into a feminine voice. As everyone was shocked at what was happening. In mere moments, there was a holographic figure made out of chakra of a female standing in front of them. But he's just an infant kid. Don't worry, I'm an immortal, and live for quite a long while, and I'm going to make him my mate once he reaches of the age, and what that, what will be that age? Fifteen. Alright, other than that, anything else? Yes, Shinigami has blessed him with the power of darkness manipulation. What is that? The darkness in one's heart, he can use it and turn it into a weapon against them. In short, there is no chance winning against it. It was a gift that Minato requested to be given to his son because, re because he has read it in one of Jiraiya's book. <sighs> Jiraiya. Minato, I should have known. You are quite smart. You will have a counter plan for everything. Yes, that he did. But why did you attack us? Two words. Madara Uchiha. What? What do you mean by that? Said Fugaku. Someone has his Sharingan. And he is using it quite badly. He's going to cause havoc and he did say he will come back for Bijus. Not me, all of them. How can you be so sure? Well, he did say Bijus and not just one Biju or nine tails. Hmm. Where do you think this will be leading to? Something not good. Something much more worse than me. What? A power that can shake the world and change the course of its face, either towards destruction or perseverance. For 90% of the chances that it will be towards destruction. Anyways, I will be watching after him because that is what I promised Kushina I will be leaving now. And do not try to harm him, said the now revealed QB to the upper level hidden Anbus because the darkness is always protecting him. Well, goodbye, Hurzen, until we meet next time. As Kyuubi vanished, after stating this much, as Hurzen then said, looking towards all of them, what should we do now? We should keep this a uh, hidden secret. Yes, this power, it's a gift from Shinigami, and it can be a curse as well. If we do not treat him as respectfully as Minato wanted, then things could go south. Power that we cannot win against hmm, can be quite terrifying if it is pitted against us. Yes. As the next day came and Naruto's heritage was revealed to the whole village, so Naruto could have a normal life. Even Danzo, Koharu, and Hamura agreed to this because they did not mess with Shinigami because they knew the consequences of messing with a god already. They'd already lost a teammate, more like Danzo's lover. Anyway, time passed after that and Naruto grew up with quite some love, but he felt lonely 
At the age of four, he was left alone, unattended, even by the orphanage, Matrich. And when Hiruzen visited him, he saw that Naruto was saddened. As Hiruzen told him the tales of the Kage then, and Naruto was inspired by that. As Naruto then asked, Nay, Gigi, in one of their visits, what is it, Naruto? Do you think can I be the Hokage? Why, obviously, Naruto, your father was one. Then, can you train me? Naruto, I am the Kage of this village. I can't show favoritism. And your father trained on his own as well. He was apprenticed by the Tosan, his your godfather. He will be coming back. He's just on a long mission. It's not that. It's just that I want to start now. People are freaking out. They know about my power. They say that I'm cursed by Shinigami. <sighs> Those idiots. When they let go of the QB because of your heritage, they came after you, targeting you because you hold a gift given to you by Shinigami, stating that it's a curse. There isn't thought in his mind. Well, my boy, why are you so eager to prove them wrong? That I'm not just a cursed boy, I can be much more than that. I can be myself. And I can protect them as well with this power. That is a quite noble deed, my boy. Well, I will help you out in some bit. Or you can trust it in becoming an Anbu, Hirzen said after thinking hard. An Anbu? Yes. They are the protector of this village, but from the shadows. Really? They work in the shadows? Yes, they are much stronger than shinobis. And only second to Kage's. They only listen to their Kage as well. But really? Can I? Yes, you can start there, my boy. When? When can I start, Didi? Hmm, I have to go and ask a friend of mine today. How about I tell you tomorrow what happened, hmm? Thanks, Didi. You really are awesome and cool. <laughs> Don't worry, my boy. As after that, Hiruzen went. But he did not go to back to his office. He went straight towards the Anbu headquarters in which Dragon resided, the head commander. And it was none other than Shizui Uchiha, as it was his secret identity. After entering the room of the dragon, the seals are applied. Shizui, what is it, Okagasama? I want you to train Naruto, Uzumaki no Mikaze. Um, pardon, Okagasama, but why? Well, two reasons. Because the kid needs to be taken out of the public image because of, he's being targeted because of the power that he possesses. You mean the blessing from Shinigami that everyone's calling a curse? Yes. You know about this? Already. What else? That he has the QB. I fear that people might still let go of their hatred out of control and harm him. And he's quite lonely as well. I want to distract him, but you do know that you're taking away his childhood. There is no childhood for him, unfortunately. In our world, there are quite hypocrite people, and there is no lo much bigger hypocrite I have seen than my own villagers here. That I can agree upon, said Sh Shizui. Well, Okage-sama, leave everything to me. You can bring the boy here if you want to, or if you want to fetch, want me to fetch the boy, I will bring him in now. As Hiruzen then disappeared in a sunshine, and after five minutes he arrived with a boy in his toe with a bag. Here, Naruto, this is going to be your sensei. His name is Dragon. Naruto, you can call me Shizui. Are you okay with revealing your identity, Shizui? Hiruzen asked, with hand signs. It's alright. But you have to promise me not to reveal my identity in front of the others. Only Hokage-sama can know about this, okay? Okay, um, Dragon Sensei. <laughs> Aren't you a fast learner? So where, where will be he staying? Well, near your headquarter cell. Okay. I guess I can give him a room there next to me. Hmm, that will be suffice. As after that, time passed. As Naruto was now at the age of 10. He had made friends with Kyuubi already. She was like a big sister to him who was way too much clingy and always got upset when he ever talked to other girls or women. Or even looked at them. He never understood why, but he thought that she was just way too cautious. As Naruto was now at least a tuning level Anbu, and he has went on missions and had killed. His first kill was quite hard to deal with, as it took him almost two months to get over it. And how to turn off his emotions later on was quite a journey for his own. 
as now we see him resting in his room. After a long mission in which he had to go and kill a Kumo delegate who st started a fight with Yuga clan by kidnapping their heiress. As here he was sitting and resting after debriefing the Kage of what happened and then reporting it to his sensei slash commander as Shisui came into his room. Naruto, what is it Shisui Nisan? Well, on official duty, it was on the commander of Dragon Sama, but here it was just Nissan to Naruto because Shisui was an orphan as well. I was wondering if you would like to have a talk with me on the Kage Monument. Would you like to go for a walk? As both of them went there walking, as both of them got there after 10 minutes. What is it you want to talk about, Nissan? Naruto. The situation between the Uchiha clan and the village isn't looking good. And. It seems that sooner or later the Ojihas will start a coup. What? But but isn't it bad? What will happen? There will be a war. All the lives that will be in a mess and in a crossfire will be lost. I know. And that is why I'm stating this to you, Naruto. Here. These are the eyes. Eyes of my father that I want you to have. They were given to me by Fogaku Sama. They are said to be in a league of their own. My father was a once fierce shinobi and a jiha. But I never had the guts to open this jar and, well, stored them into my own and make it an eternal Mangekyo Sharingan or eternal Rinnegan. What do you mean by that? I have eternal Sharingan because I implemented my mother's eyes in me. This is an eternal as well. What's the difference between a Sharingan and the eternal Mangekyo, whatever you stated? You can do many things with that Naruto, many many things, and it will be helpful to you in the future. But I have my eyes. <laughs> it works this way Naruto, you can just replace them. Really? Yes, I want you to have them, because I know that the things, things are going to go south, and the duty of the execution for the whole Uchiha clan will be given to me and Itachi. So, what are you going to do then, Nissan? I don't want this to happen. There must be another way. There is Naruto. There is. But for that to happen, I must sacrifice my life. And that is why I'm going to give you this. I don't want the whole clan to die out. I want to find out who was the mole who started this all, this mess. But, but what will happen to you? I will use out all my Sharingan turning blind and then die out because of the ch chakra exhaustion because of this jutsu. What? The Izanami. It can change the will of one person. Then you're going to change the will of the whole clan. Yes, that is why. There must be another way, Nisan. Please don't do this. I I don't have anyone without without you left in this world. When I needed someone, you were there for me. I, I can't I can't. Naruto started to cry, so right Naruto, but be brave and stay strong, and please, this is a last request from your Nissan, fulfill it, protect your village Naruto, its future rest in your hands now. As after handing the jar, Shisui disappeared in a puff of smoke, Naruto realized that it was a clone, he dashed back to his residence and put the jar there and sealed his room with his Anmu gear on. He dashed towards the Uchiha clan compound to see that it was a mess. It was a huge massacre. No one was left alive. As he dashed from street to street to see more dead bodies of children, women and even elders and even men laying there. As suddenly he felt a presence behind him as he saw that it was another Anmu, code named Weasel. Itachi, what are you doing? Stop this. Where is Shisui? Shisui is dead. He was killed up by Danzo. What? He, he just came here to meet me and it was a clone that he made. He already told me he died two or three hours ago. No, it can't be. Yes, Naruto, it did happen. Danzo had one of his eyes. What? Yes, Danzo has one of his eyes. The other one here is with, is with me. Then what about, what about Sasuke? I leave that to you, Naruto. Please, protect him from Danzo and the others, because I know they are going to corrupt him, and the curse of hatred is going to run through his veins. 
and as suddenly Sasuke, Sasuke was arriving as Itachi felt that, as he launched his attacks towards Naruto to make him seem like a hero and make him seem himself look like a villain in front of Sasuke. As they arrived, Sasuke was shocked to see the whole well, barren streets as he dashed towards the middle to see that his brother and some unknown kid was fighting similar to his age. Nissan! Sasuke, get out of here, Naruto said as Itachi charged towards him. As Sasuke was shot, but Naruto deflected the blow from Katana with his kunai. Itachi, get your hold of yourself! What are you doing? As Itachi kicked away Naruto's mask. This is it, Naruto. This is the power that I achieved after killing the whole clan. What are you talking about? Have you gone insane? As Sasuke was shocked. You have to get out of here, Sasuke. How could you? What about Gachan and Tochan? They're dead already. As Sasuke was about to lash out and Itachi then revealed his genjutsu. As Naruto then yelled out Kai and took Sasuke and vanished from there. As Itachi then said, standing there with tearful eyes, good luck Naruto. As he then looked back at the whole compound. As he activated a hand seal. Explode. As the whole compound exploded and burning the bodies alongside it, burning wood and houses. As after that, Itachi vanished as if he never existed. As Naruto arrived there, as Sasuke's Henji dropped already, turning to a girl. Sasuke, what happened? My name is Sasuke, leave me now, I have to go back. A suddenly explosion was heard. No! Sasuke yelled out. It's alright, everything's going to be fine. No, it's not. My home, my family, everything is gone. I'm an orphan now. I'm all alone. You're not alone. You have me. Really? That is quite corny, Naruto. I disapprove. Please, Koromine-chan. Not now. It's not the time. <sighs> Fine, I'll allow it. But this time only, Rumi said. As Naruto had Satsuki, as Satsuki cried, her eyes out on Naruto's chest, as she finally fell asleep, as Kakashi arrived behind him. Naruto? What is it, Kakashi Nisan? Is she... Yeah, she's fine. Well, what happened to the Uchiha compound? Well, the plan didn't go as well. That was given to Shisui Nisama, and he died at the hands of Danzo. How can you be so sure? Itachi told me this, and he was the one who murdered them all. I see. Naruto, you have to come with me to the Hokage-sama. Fine. As Naruto put Sarsuke in his room, as after that, he went with Kakashi to the Okage office to see that the whole council was there, the elders, the shinobi council, without the Uchiha clan head and the Hokage. As the risen and asked with Sirsus, Naruto, what were you doing in the Uchiha clan compound? Itachi, he launched an attack, as of how I went there, well, Shisui Nisama came to meet me. He gave me the eyes of his father and told me that he was going to be sent on a mission, a mission in which he can lose his life pretty much, and that he will be meeting me last time. But when I realized that it was only a clone, I thought that something was wrong. I dashed towards the clan compound to see that everyone was dead, literally. The streets were barren. I saw the corpse of infant kids to grown-ups. It disgusted me to no end. And when I reached the center to see a person maiming them, it was Weasel. Itachi? Yes. He said it was given order to him. As Naruto looked towards Danzo, by him. What? How can you say that? Do you have any proof? You have Shisui's eye. I can sense it. As Naruto disappeared and appeared behind him and stole his pouch. As Naruto revealed eye in a jar. This is Shisui's eye. The other one is with me here. Snarto revealed the other eye. This was given to me by Itachi before he disappeared. And he, alongside Kohara and Homura, were the ones who gave him the orders. He revealed everything to me in the infinite Sukiyomi. If you don't believe me, Yamanaka-san, can you walk through my mind and reveal the secret to everyone? What I saw and heard and what Itachi showed me through his memories. As Inoichi looked at Hokage, as Hokage nodded. As the proof were shown to everyone, as Inuichi agreed, what Naruto said was 100% accurate. You three are stripped from your rights as well, and to be held accountable for what happened. Is there any survivor? said Tizumi. There is. Sas Sasuke Uchiha. You mean Sasuke? No, 
Satsuki. What do you mean by that? She was hinged into a boy. That I thought at least was a boy. She's currently resting in my room. She cried her eyes out. Poor girl lost her family. She must be worried. What are your orders, Okage-sama? What are the orders given to you by Itachi? The orders given to me by him was to look out for her. That it was all. She will be placed in Anbu in the same course of training as Naruto. Naruto will continue on with his training and teach her as well. Because Naruto is going to learn to use the Sharingan now. As everyone was murmuring, as Kakashi then arrived, Hokage-sama, permission to? Yes, it are, Kakashi, you have. I wish to train Naruto and Satsuki. I know why, Kakashi, and you have my permission. As after that, Naruto then said, I have a news for you as well, Gigi. I want to replace my eyes. What? What is wrong with them, my boy? I want to honor Shisui on. That is why I'm going to use the eyes that was given to him, given to me by him. Okay, you have my permission. As Naruto then had an operation next morning, in which his eyes were transplanted. It took him one day to recover, and after that, he met with Shisui, I mean, Satsuki and the both of them started to train, hard and strong. Time skip. Three years later, both of them were now 13. Satsuki was a prodigy, as both Naruto and Satsuki, being hard worker and a prodigy, putting a team together, became the team duo. As they were called just that because they were so strong and they, whenever they went on a mission, they always achieved a complete clean sweep. Without being caught, their record was S rank and the missions they have done were quite literally suicidal. As currently they were resting in their room that was shared by them. As Sasuke then said, Hey Naruto-kun, what is it Sasuke-chan? They have gotten close, so close that, well, they have fallen in love with each other. And, well, let's just say Kurumi wasn't happy with that, but when Kurumi revealed her true intentions to Naruto, and, well, Naruto revealed it to Sasuke, and even met with her, they agreed that both of the girls should share him. And Naruto was quite happy that he didn't have to choose one of them, as both of the women were important in his life. As now Naruto had made a seal, thanks to the Fuenjutsu that he learned from his mother, fr from a guide how to do Fuenjutsu for dummies, he was able to make a seal in which Kubi could manifest itself in the form of a human being in front of them, as the three of them were now resting in their room. As Satsuki was saying, we go back to her. What do you think will happen in our next mission? Or our next mission will be? I think it will be the Land of Waves one. I saw the reports in the office. Gigi was interested in giving that mission to us. What is it about? A bridge builder. Hmm? Isn't it supposed to be a Syrian mission that cannons should do? It is, but there is more than me to I, Satsuki. What? Well, it said that the Land of Waves is being, you know, controlled by a group of organization known as Gato and Groups. What? Yes, and they deal in women smuggling and children smuggling as slaves and many many things. As Sasuke felt quiet, I see now. So that is why Hokage-sama has chosen that mission for us. Well, to be honest, yes, that is the reason. So are you going to use your darkness malignation, Dark Lord, Sama? As Naruto saw really? <laughs> it's quite funny that the, that is was the name that they chose for you in the bingo book. The one who rules over fear, the Dark Lord. Sounds so corny. I know, they could have chosen any name over that. Even the Dark Flash or something like that. In honor of my father. No, they had to go with the, the Dark Lord. As Naruto sighed, as both Kurumi and Sasuke chuckled at that. Come on, party face. As they started to start to glow, the throw. Naruto said as both Satsuki and Naruto got ready and left. As Kurumi went back to her seal. As they arrived, to see that Tazuna was there. As well, Kagashi was there as well as he was their team leader. As Hiruzen then revealed, you are going to go towards the land of waves. They need our help. They cannot pay though. It's alright, Hokage-sama. We are going to help whoever we can. But we will form an alliance with them if we can't get any payment, said Kakashi as Hiruzen agreed. Alright, as none other than Tazuna arrived inside and they start their journey towards the land of waves, 
They killed the Demon Brothers whenever when they arrived. Well, easily by Satsuki. The next one dealt by Naruto. Zabuza was well able to escape, but with losing one arm because of Naruto's boost strength and his darkness release. He could turn darkness into literal weapons to cut through anything, even through air, at one point. As when they reached his house, Dazuna's grandson Inari was quite literally hyper because how they were playing ninjas and didn't know what the horrors of life was. And Naruto made him be sure that he will help them whenever he can. And time passed by and one week came to an end and finally it was time for the bridge to be completed because they were helping Tazuna to complete it faster. As Kato and his goons arrived because Zabuza was nowhere to be seen as he ran away. As Kato stated, Naruto butchered all of them by revealing his darkness. You will all suffer now. Feel the pain of those souls that you have made suffer. As darkness surrounded them, as everyone was not hearing, and from those darkness walked out souls with weapons, of the same ones who have they tortured, maimed, raped, and killed, and sold, who died because of their enslavement and brutalities, as they maimed and clawed them, tearing away their flesh and eating it. When the dark dome disappeared, the screams died down, and there was nothing there left except for Goro's glasses and skeleton. While the goons were also dead, as Naruto's eyes turned back to black, as he looked back to see Satsuki, who nodded, You did good, Naruto. Trash like him doesn't deserve to live. You're right, said Kagashi as he put a hand on Naruto's shoulder, patting him. So, what now? Now we celebrate, Tazuna said. As the celebrated end, Team 7 was hailed as hero. They are still going to be called Team 7 here, so yeah. As they went back with a treaty paper signed by Tazuna, who was the new daimyo of the Land of Waves, back to their village. And after that, the Chunin exams were nearing in, but they didn't have to worry about that because they were already on Boos and Jonin level ones as well. As they were given the guard duty in the forest of death, the first part wasn't as in canon, but when the second part came, Rochimaru was spotted, as Naruto sensed out his chakra, a wild one, because he cons con consumed a huge amount of darkness and concealed it within his heart. As Naruto and Sasuke went to check it out, to see that he was marking some Ganons, and Naruto and Sasuke tagged him. As Orochimaru says, My oh my, I was looking for you, Sasuke Uchiha. Itachi revealed quite a bit to me. Where is he? Sasuke said as her Mangekyo activated. Naruto has given her she's with Sharingan, and her Sharingan, which was morphed into a Mangekyo, was now an eternal one, just like Naruto's. As Susano armor was made, as a sword appeared, as Sasuke pierced that same Thor straight through Orochimaru's chest, impaling him, as Naruto then said, darkness released. As darkness started to crawl out of Naruto's feet, moving its way towards, well, Orochimaru. As Orochimaru was quite intrigued, as suddenly a dome appeared as Naruto was set inside, and here you will suffer for all those souls you have tortured. As all of these souls and kids started to crawl out from made out of darkness as Orochimaru's eyes went, he was tortured there in the dome for 18 years in his state. As after the torture was done, Orochimaru's mind was broken. He looked like a dead body, laying there on the ground as Naruto and Satsuki brought him back. As Ruzen has placed Chakra's suppression seal on him and sealed him away in a prison cell. As Anko's Chakra seal disappeared alongside many others who were given to them by Orochimaru. Because his mind was broken, his soul was still gone. He couldn't control them anymore. As time went by, the news of Suna's betrayal and Konoha crush happening and the duo preventing that from happening spread throughout the whole well villages and the elemental nations, and Amegakure was no far behind, the Akatsuki more likely. As when they heard this, they were getting quite fearful and frustrated because these two were quite hard to catch. Seems like her sister is quite strong, Itachi. Hmm, that she is. Well done, Naruto. You were not only able to prevent her from going towards a darker path, you were able to give her something that will help her kill me. As suddenly, one of the parts of pain spotted someone in the far corner listening to them as he sent a rod there as the man escaped as the whole Karski chased after him as when they surrounded him they found that it was a man with silver hair and green clothing with red jacket. It was Jiraiya of the Toast Sonin. 
What are you doing here, Jiraiya? said Itachi. Ah, Itachi, long time no see. As he looked towards the other ones. Yaiko? Go on. Sensei, it's been a long time. N Nagato. Oh my god, what have you done? It is done by this world. Yaiko will live on. Through me and through this Rinnegan. Nagato, you have to stop this. The world's edging towards the destruction. So be it. We will make a new world from this ashes of this one, in which there will be peace and prosperity. There will be no peace. There will be skirmishes, wars, and hatred, and even sorrow in that world. The world cannot move on without them. We need these emotions in our life, as well as happiness and joy and, and goodness. That is why I'm going to get rid of them. They are unnecessary emotions that hurt us. We need to get hurt to do the healing process and that is much more benevolent than being simply in love. Life will be boring and there will be nothing less. Because of your entertainment, many people are dying. As words were shot towards Jiraiya as he was impaled there. As he sent out Fukusaka with coordinates of the, well, Akatsuki and their location already to Konoha as Jiraiya smiled. You know what? If I wanna go out, I'll go with a bang. Rasengan, as Jiraiya got up, and Rasengan Itachi sending him flying back. He was fighting all of them now in his sage mode, as he started to pant heavily because the lords were absorbing his chakra quite badly. See these lords, Sensei? They're absorbing your chakra. You cannot win. And suddenly, Akuna was dropped to the ground from behind. It was tripe wronged. It was Minato's. As Jiraiya picked it up, as he was being pushed back and beaten by all of the Karski members. He was beaten to a bloody smear as the kunai dropped again, this time as poking the crown, as suddenly there was a dark flash as both the duo Satsuki and Art arrived there in their Anmu gear. Oh, the duo, you have blocked here. Kurumi, let's do this. As Nart activated his Susano, as KCM2 stayed activated, as the QB with the Susano armor activated, with two swords in his hand. As Satsuki did the same, as Itachi was in awe, as the whole earth shook, as Naruto saved his godfather who was being healed by now by the chakra of the QB. Naruto, took you long enough. Erosanin, do you have a death wish or something? <laughs> yeah, kid, you can say that now. Damn it, I'm not going to lose you. Even an idiot perverted like you is my family, so I have to save your ass every time. Don't go cause any more trouble for me. I won't, I promise. As Jiraiya saw Naruto's and Sasuke's potential, they were already coming to Shinobi and Yamino, Shinobi walking on the ground. Past surpassing Madara and Ashirama Senju already. The next generation is safe now and secure. As the whole Akatsuki was killed off by an ultimate attack combined with Naruto and Kurumi as well as Sasuke herself. As her Nisa didn't wasn't killed but was saved by Satsuki. As Dachi was revealed to be ill because of cancer that was eating him away, and there was no cure for him, even Tsunade couldn't. She tried to find the cure after rescuing him and after killing of the Akatsuki and revealing and proving Itachi's innocence, but there was no cure just. After two months, Itachi's health declined, and when Naruto and Satsuki had a son at the age of fifteen, Saruto. Tachi smiled and passed away, giving his eyes to them in order for Saruto to have an eternal Mangekyo Sharingan. As Sasuke cried, but she was happy at the same time. Tachi was buried next to Izumi and both of his parents. As after that, time passed like a fly, and Naruto was able to make friends with all of the other villages or in between them and form an alliance with all of them. And after that, the peace was preserved between the villages. And not only that, Naruto married both love of his lives and had a child with Kurumi as well, Himawari. As she was quite a cunning fox, but a cute one as well. As time passed, Naruto has become an immortal, and so has Satsuki and their children. And they are now known as Kami and Yami no Shinobi of this world. And whenever someone is in need of guidance, they visit them in their temple in which they stay and reside in now even after hundreds of years, as the world rule over in peace.
as this is where I'm going to be leaving the story of guys. I hope you like this one. And if you do, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you like the content of this channel, as this is Apollo Chiha, and I'm signing out. And don't forget to subscribe to my other channel as well because I will be uploading regularly on that channel as well. This is Apollo Chiha, and I'm signing out. Peace.